Uh, so, so like I was saying, uh, you know, Sikhs do have issues in India. So do Hindus. So do Christians and Muslims. But India has a legal justice system. India has a constitution. And and Sikhs and uh, Hindus and Muslims and Christians, they fight their fights in India under the Indian legal system. And majority of the Sikhs living outside India do not want this ideology and they are with India and this new uh, narrative that is coming out from a so-called Khalistani leader asking Hindus to uh, get out will not be tolerated by 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 majority of the Sikhs by most of by, by all Sikhs I'm going to say here because Sikhs are looked upon in these countries as the go-to person we have so many immigrants come from India when they see a Sikh and on a foreign soil, they come to him for help. And that's what Sikhs are known mm. for. And we're going to be yeah. with our Hindu brothers and Christian brothers and Muslim brothers, all Indian brothers who come here. So I want uh, to let through your media know that we stand united and we are together. The other question, Mr. Singh, is that there is an American citizen who is now based in, who is now operating out of Canada, calling for a particular movement against Indian, Indo-Canadian Hindus. And this is Gurpat Panum. Should, what should be the position against him? Because he's flirting with the law very carefully. An American citizen yes. threatening Indo-Canadian Hindus. Uh, why is the Trudeau administration not saying anything? And will you, as the chief of the Sikh for Americas, urge the US administration also to treat uh, someone like a Gurpatwal Panun as a hate monger or, or as a terrorist as he's been designated by the Indian government? See, the, the Indian government has to pursue this very aggressively and uh, with, with the proper channels. Uh, again, like I said, there are equal number of Sikhs living in U.S. And these are very mm. small number of people who have hijacked uh, the whole Sikh community. And, and we stand with the Indian government on this. We will we will resolve all the Sikh issues through dialogue, through talks with India in a proper way under the constitution. There, there's Sikhs living in India who have uh, all means available to them, and the these few people have hijacked the Sikh causes, and they are now damaging the whole community and 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 the whole uh, Indian community here. So we need to put yeah. an end to this. Gurpat One Singh Pannu does not have support among six here, a very small support, a very fringe element uh, uh, who support him. It is very evident when there are protests outside embassies, there are only 50 to 100 people showing up and majority of the Sikhs are are away from all, all this. So we need to uh, make sure that the Sikhs, which is a silent minor majority, we need to bring them up. We need to make them feel comfortable that you can speak up your, uh, you know, your mind. You, 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 you won't be threatened in any way. Come and, and speak your mind. And majority of them, like I told you, come to India. They love India and, and everything, you know, Punjab is a state that everybody, all Sikhs uh, go to. And it's a it's a, a part of India, which is uh, flourishing and uh, a very important part of India. And Sikhs are a very important part of India. So this is a very, very small element. Justin Trudeau has tried to divide the Sikh community, tried to use them as political pawns. And we are not going to stand for that. If he has any yeah. evidence, he should have given them before he made that statement, which was very, very shameful for a leader of his stature to make. When he was in India on G20, he stood by, uh, you know, when he made that statement, it was a very balanced statement. You know, actually, why he didn't bring this up there? He's saying that he spoke hmm. with Prime Minister Modi behind the scenes. Why didn't he do a press conference and come out and say it there what he had to say? But no, when he hmm. came back, that's when this plan was uh, done, and the way it was done, it's it's it stinks. Uh, like you said, uh, India uh, uh, told Canada three years ago about uh, yeah. the the, the Dazier that uh, Niger. Mr. Niger is a terrorist. Why didn't he handle it then? Why didn't he bring Mr. Niger to the table and the Indian ambassador to the table and say, "Hey, look." Give us your proof. What's going on here? And try to resolve this three years ago. We wouldn't have had this problem today. But it was his, Canada's, you know, intentions to prolong it, to make it dirty, and then use it for political opportunity. The, the other thing, uh, uh, Mr. Singh, is that there are people who are using Sikhi to insult and abuse not just Sikhi way of life, the Sikh uh, form of life, but also Sikh. Look at this person, Pannu. None of the tenets of Sikhi does he follow. Kesh, Kanga, Kada, Kirpan, Kacha, none of the five basic tenets he does. But he wears a quasi patka, shaves, and then he stands there and he says he represents Sikhs. Should this not be condemned outright? Why are the religious heads also allowing people to just get away 
with this kind of brazen uh, uh, abuse of the sikh tenets itself absolutely i don't know which uh, sikh leaders allow allowing him like i told you uh, here there's a very very small group that that supports him there is sikh community does not support or follow him as a leader and uh, you know and i appeal uh, to uh, the indian media to uh, at this point bring the silent majority of sikhs out who can come and speak the truth my my final question mr singh what next should and, be and done let me tell you about mr, mr. pannu mr yeah. pannu has yeah. an immigration yeah. firm here where he is filing yeah. uh, uh, a political asylum cases uh, uh, for when 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 illegal uh, immigrants come here he files political asylum cases and to get those cases uh, Uh, look genuine he bring he 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 starts this up that oh in india there's lots of abuse going on with sex and you know poor immigrants who come here they have no other choice to become legal here and and they are uh, being pushed through this uh, uh, political asylum uh, phase and uh, this serves uh, uh, pannu's uh, bread and butter too so is this is this largely a business and a profiteering racket that's going on that's what it is that's what it always has been uh it was either politically motivated khalistan movement was either politically motivated uh uh, uh and or either uh, you know uh, economically hmm. where do you see this uh, stopping what do you think uh, you will you are now going to do next as as somebody who's representing such a key body important body and i'm sure you have uh, you know connections with your counterparts in canada and you work uh, closely in that region and what would you expect uh, bharat to do or the bharat government to do final question sir see i think at, at this point uh, we should wait uh, we are demanding uh, uh, prime minister trudeau to put up any proof that he has or any evidence that he has and and bring it up before making all these big ac- accusations and uh, uh you know we would at this point ask the indian government to uh make sure that the sikh community and the hindu community living abroad and in india are embraced equally and at this point the government takes steps to unite the sikhs that are living away from india who love india but with this statement of trudeau can be confused or can be at this point very very uh, uh distraught just like uh, the hindu community right now Yeah. see uh, nijer's uh, death or nijer's murder uh, he calls it credible allegations and he blames bharat the question with riputaman singh he remains quiet riputaman singh was one of the two acquitted by the canadian courts in the kanishk bombing and the kanishk uh, issue of uh, the 182 uh, air india 182 the, the flight ic 182 why is it that he silent on riputaman singh riputaman singh is somebody who so who gave up the entire khalistan thing and then he embraced bharat and he changed his ways he was murdered last year why is mr trudeau silent there a baloch activist was recently found dead why is he quiet there see uh, the, we why have the answer riputaman just... singh malik was assassinated 2 years almost 2 years ago now and uh, nothing has been done about it uh, where there were witnesses to but nothing has been done no arrest made and uh, you know and and everybody knew that he and mr nigger had a open uh, fight amongst themselves uh, where uh, open threats were given against riputaman singh malik uh, but you know again this all it looks like a political uh, you know uh, motivated statement that uh, trudeau gave it smells like a political uh, motivated uh, statement and it is a politically motivated statement he wants to uh, please uh, for some uh, votes uh, that he wants to get he's uh, he's digging a hole for himself he's not doing any favors to canada or to the sikh community and uh, this is uh, going to uh, come back and bite him yes uh, somewhere the canadian citizens need to just answer trudeau by the ballot and uh, that includes all of uh, canada's hindu sikhs the entire population all canadian citizens should outrightly reject such hate mongering and brazen uh, you know trying to drive a wedge between two very very friendly nations and vibrant democracies mr jassy singh thank you so much sir thank you so much for your time and let's hope there are some concrete uh, steps that are taken to show trudeau the right way